Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Transformers review and today we have the Kingdom Core Class Soundwave and well as you can see I have already one out of, uh, out of the packaging these other two I just was lucky enough to found them to find them on the pegs and I actually I had another one that I traded I thought I want to keep one in card and maybe this one I would use it to maybe paint it black to make it like a sound blaster but that's something like just a fantasy thought I have like maybe one day will be an actual project that's the figure in the card he from all the core class figures I think is the one with the most accessories he has like the little ca cassette tape inside he comes with the two like well his shoulder cannon and his handgun and well and you can see some photos of him and yeah and there you have your little guy looking great um, here I have for comparison the Earthrise Netflix Soundwave which I also reviewed and I have a, a video on the channel so you can just go find it on the War for Cybertron if I'm right playlist <coughs> And also, if you're already, I mean, if you're still with me, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm currently uploading content continuously and uh, yeah, I have already over 100 videos, I mean, maybe 120 or something like that or even more, I don't know. Uh, so, you can go and check all of that. This guy comes with a couple of tapes as well, well not a couple, he comes with one tape which is this little laser big tape here let me just ch show you the detail there this doesn't transform sadly it's just a solid pl piece of plastic here we have from the hot soldiers collection it's uh, like a third party sound wave I, a friend of mine gave me and this one is uh, well, it's larger. It was the, the one I was using like for this kind of legend scale. And yeah, as it's a bit larger, the, the, the laser beak he comes with actually is able to transform. It's a very simple one, but there you have the two cassette tapes. They're different, but kind of similar, you know. And yeah, I think this core class is like a response to all of this... Um, kind of legends uh, scale that so many third-party companies have been making for articulation he can move the head all around well he's on a ball peg there if you can see it so he can also lean backwards for uh, that's because of transformation he can turn the head all the way around you have the shoulder cannon which is just pegged here uh, the, the shoulders can go all the way around he can do not the t-pose but he can lift them that far no bicep swivel but on the elbow he has a ball joint there which is quite I mean you cannot not see it so you can turn the arms all the way around and the hands can just go up and down due to transformation he has nothing on the waist this front piece with the buttons there can you can lift it up and give the legs space to kick forward of course that will change the the aesthetics quite a bit he can do the full splits and that's also due to transformation i would say the deck has no i mean the yeah the cassette deck has no the button here you cannot push it it's a sculpt there uh, no paint on the inside which i mean it would be great if they had painted that silver or something but they didn't even paint it in the larger in the voyager, voyager class one so so the legs can go all the way around he can he has a bit of clearance to kick back you can turn the I mean he has the thigh cut there the knee can go 90 degrees backwards he can it can go almost 90 degrees forward 
even if that's not like something you would actually do the feet are on a little ball peg ball joint here a well, little and that's also partially due to transformation but you can he can move the feet up up and back a bit he has a little bit of play just up and down not to the sides sadly which would be great but is not there. I'm almost sure he's maybe the one with the most articulation from all the core class, maybe not counting rat trap or anyway, he has this bit here, the, the thigh cut, which I think he's the only one who has it. I have to check when I bring the others for comparison. It's been a while since I've been handling those figures, but he definitely is my favorite of the bunch. That's easy because he's just sound wave and that's that's uh, enough reasons for me <laughs> but he's really nicely made i think he's nicer than the the other ones at least that's my opinion now the transformation is pretty straightforward actually you just have to turn the head around and bring it down in that compartment then you want to bring the hands to the back you want to just to turn the arms and well first of all you have to see here he has uh, that little tap hole here and there's some tabs here in the back of his kind of back skirt so you turn that around you turn the forearm the same for the other side and you tap them there as you can see now the legs you just have to turn them around like this so that will be on the front and then you just do like so and these tabs here go into the sheens like that and there you have a little tiny cassette deck but yeah wait a second I mean you can just leave the feet like that you can turn okay that happened wait a second you can just turn the feet around that will pop again maybe <laughs> like that or you you can do as the official version is just like that and there you have like a demonic cassette uh, deck I don't know that's how they suggested you to do it but actually I think just leaving the feet out I don't know I mean that's a more kind of square look but this is then the sides are then like closed but this is like the evil cassette deck and then you just open here put the tape in well you actually put it on the tray the translucent tray and then you close it the weapons you just store them like this you put this one here maybe actually i think this one is better here the arms on tab quite easily here from the the back and then you put this one there and there you have it a very nice tiny little cassette deck and then here we have the hot soldiers what's his name soundtrack the one i showed you before with uh, actually laser bird and here we have the netflix sound wave and yeah I like the look of this. I, I am a, I mean, Soundwave is like, I can safely say my favorite transformer. <laughs> and it's good to look, to, to have this, uh, these guys around. To transform him back, just the thing, the, the same thing the other way around, yeah? <laughs> Actually, you untap the legs, you turn them around, bring the feet out, untap the other leg, turn it around, bring the feet, well, the foot, out to unplug the weapons with your nail you just bring the head out and turn it around bring the fists out da -da -da -da. you peg the shoulder cannon here on the shoulder of course and then you give him his weapon in whichever hand you decide to I just want to have it there to break the seat to have like one weapon on each side and that's the 
Transformers Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. It's a very nice tiny little figure. I can highly recommend it. I really like it. I think it's a very nice little Core Class figure. Oh, who has a tendency to fall if you don't find the right spot. First of all, I'm bringing in Core Class Megatron because, yeah, he's loyal to Megatron. Then we bring in Core Class Starscream because we need to have the the trio here. Then we bring in Core Class Optimus Prime and what would be I guess Core Class Bumblebee and Sam or what was this guy? This guy. Again, it's a very nice figure. I can highly recommend it. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Ciao ciao ciao.